Our next topic is evaluating expressions. And this is something that's usually new to people at this point in the course. A lot of the stuff we've done so far is stuff that you've done before. It's been a, re a review of math that you've at least seen a good bit of in earlier courses. But this is usually something that is brand new to people, evaluating expressions. Here's what we mean. If we have an algebraic expression like this, this is an algebraic expression. Notice we've got some numbers and some variables. You see the a, b, and c. And we've got addition and division with the fraction bar. All those things combined together give us an algebraic expression. And it's an algebraic expression here because we have variables involved. It's not just numbers. But in this case, we're given a value for each variable. In this case, we're told that a is equal to 11. So that a right there really represents the number 11. And b is equal to 7. So that b represents the number 7. And c is equal to 4. So instead of 2 times c right there, you can think 2 times 4. We can evaluate this expression by simply rewriting it and replacing each variable with the appropriate number. And then we do the arithmetic and we get a value. That's why this is called evaluating the expression. It said that an expression evaluates to a value or an expression has a value when we put in the numbers for these variables. So here's what I'm going to do in this space right here. I'm going to rewrite this expression. But instead of an a, I'll write an 11. And instead of b, I'll write a 7. And instead of c, I'll write a 4. So the expression becomes this, 3 times 11. Remember, the 3a is 3 times a. And that means multiplication right there. Then I have plus 7. Instead of the b, I wrote 7. All that is over 2c. And c is 4, so I'll write 2 times 4. Now let's evaluate this. Let's compute a value for the numerator and the denominator. And then after that, we'll do the dividing. But the numerator first, 3 times 11 is 33. So in the numerator, I have 33 plus 7. In the denominator, 2 times 4 is 8. So I have 33 plus 7 over 8. Well, let's simplify this numerator one more time. 33 plus 7 is 40. So I have 40 divided by 8. And you can see that 40 divided by 8 is 5. In this case, it worked out to a nice round number. It doesn't always, but that's our answer in this case. This expression has this value if these are the values of the variables. And by putting those values in and doing the math, we have evaluated that expression.